Hello, Eugene X2000 here again. Uh, we're going to be taking a closer look at the statement made by Richard Dawkins for Darwin Day last year. Out of all the evidence used to support the theory of evolution, what would you say is the strongest, most irrefutable single piece of evidence in support of the theory? Here's a transcript of his answer. So in the case of FOXP2, if you count the number of letters that are different between humans and chimpanzees, it's only about nine. If you count the number of letters that are different in humans and mice, it's, I don't know, 30 or something like that. You know, it kind of makes sense. If uh, humans and chimps are more closely related, there should be fewer differences. Uh, more closely related means more similar. Um, so, anyway, he goes on to say, so you take any pair of animals you like, kangaroo and lion, blah, 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 um, and count the number of differences and you plot it out you find it forms a perfect branching hierarchy well that's not necessarily true and we're gonna take a look and see why in a minute then he says it's a tree what else could that tree be but a family tree then he says and you do the same for another gene having got the family tree for foxp2 you then do the same thing for another gene and another, and another, and he says, and here's the one we're going to hone in on, he says you get the same family tree. Well, let's take a look first at FOXP2. The FOXP2 gene tree in Ensemble Genome Browser uh, is right here. We see um, pantroglodytes, which is chimpanzee, and right here. Um, showing uh, more closely related to humans, which is what you might expect from an evolutionary perspective. But as you look over this, you would think that humans and chimps, the next would be gorilla. Um, but instead, we have pongo, uh, which is uh, orangutan, and gorilla is way up here. And if you follow it back, you see that according to the FOXP2 gene tree, Gorilla broke off before any of these other primates to come over here with Microcebus murinus, which is a mouse lemur. Right here, Microcebus murinus which is mouse lemur. So we already have a little bit of a problem. Let's take a look at FOXP1. FOXP1 has gorilla and pantroglodytes more closely related. So what you hear about chimps being more closely related to humans, well, not really quite sure. We're looking at a totally different family tree and um, we have a different gene. Uh, what did Dawkins say? We should get the same family tree. But then we have FOXP1 and we have FOXP2 and we have two different trees. Should we look at another? FOXP3. Uh, here we have Homo sapiens and gorilla more closely related. Next, Pongo, uh, with the common ancestry for chimpanzee being nowhere, wait, where is it, where is it, right here, with chimpanzee showing more closely um, being related to a squirrel. Wow, or a pig. Okay, so let's go back again. Let's look. He's Dawkins says you get the same family tree. But we get not only a different tree, but we get relationships here, unless somebody's gone back and said that uh, pigs are now primates uh, or squirrels are, are primates. But here you've got pantroglodytes, chimpanzees just sitting by himself sad. 
Um, box P4. Well, here's a different tree entirely again. So what Dawkins says, you get the same family tree, and what the evidence says, we've got we've looked at four different genes, including the one that uh, he mentioned, and you get four four different family trees. So what we have is Richard Dawkins saying one thing, and the evidence saying something entirely different. Thanks. That'll be all for today. Hope to talk to you um, very soon. Until then, God bless.